Earlier tonight at 6 o'clock, we spoke with the former mayor, Tony Garber, about the water infrastructure in the city of Jackson. And now we are going farther back in time to 1977 to 1989 when Dale Denks Jr. held the position in the capital city. He sat down one on one with 12 News' Jay Belexa. Dell Danks Jr. said when he was with Sanitation, he wanted to be the mayor of Jackson, and he succeeded. He loved the job, but he also tells us about some of the challenges he faced relating to water issues. As Dell Danks became the new mayor of Jackson, the capital city was expanding. Uh, you get a great deal of experience that uh, helps you meet those challenges. Uh, it took a lot of money and a lot of time to provide water and sewage in the South Jackson area, which was the area that was annexed right after I went in. Dink says during his administration, a number of projects were completed. The OB Curtis water plant was built. There was a new water plant that we built, which was the second facility relating to the water and sewage situation. We had to uh, provide what's called a distribution system. Uh, when you go in and you lay the pipes or uh, the towers, water towers, or what have you, uh, the distribution, of course, ties in with the annexed area, plus making sure you maintain what you could maintain uh, with the rest of the city. You don't want to ignore people or not do anything that uh, should address problems and challenges uh, makes or breaks the image of the city of Jackson. You also can't forget the Easter flood of 1979 when he also served as mayor. While he says a lot has changed since he served as mayor, one key solution in handling the water crisis today would be to secure federal dollars. For 12 News Investigates, I'm Jade Belexa.